Hello everyone, Merry Christmas! I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Season of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us on this Christmas day. The entrance antiphon today says, A child is born for us, and a son is given to us. His scepter of power rests upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Messenger of Great Counsel. So on this day of Christmas, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the King of Peace that comes to bring us joy. So on this day, now we will be meditating with the Word of God. And for the liturgy, we will be uh, re seeing the readings of the Mass during the day. So today, in the 25th, there are different liturgies, different readings for different Masses. And the one that we are going to meditate today, today together is the one from the Mass during the day. So first reading will be from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, verses 7 to 10. The responsorial psalm will be Psalm 98. Second reading will be Hebrews, letter to Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. And the gospel will be Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. So let's start the reading of the word of God for today. Isaiah 52 How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in pain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you rooms of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has remembered Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this first reading of the prophet Isaiah, we see this promise that the king of Zion would come back, would come to them. The messenger who crossed the mountains announced the Lord's return to Jerusalem and the deportees return. Peace, good tidings and salvation await those who walk in the ways of God. That's what the chapter 52 of Isaiah means. This messenger announces the return of the Lord to Jerusalem. And in this Christmas day, we celebrate the return of our Lord to us on earth. As we meditated on Advent, the first part of Advent, we would focus in the Lord that is to come again in his second coming. The second part of Advent was to prepare our hearts for this day, for Christmas, for the Lord that will come again as a child, as the entrance antiphons tell us, a child is born for us. And Christmas, today in the liturgy, we see that the Lord is coming back to Jerusalem, his King, your God reigns. So that must be the joy of our heart today. Our King is among us. Jesus is the Emmanuel, God with us. The responsorial psalm today, Psalm 98, tells us, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have brought him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous songs and sing him praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. The King is here.
the King is among us. And that's our joy on this Christmas day. Second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews says, Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by the Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the ages. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being, and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become such superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to each the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christmas is also known of the feast of the Word Incarnate. The Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. So, and here in this, in this reading, Paul tells us that the Lord spoke in many and different ways through the ages, but now in our times, He chose to speak to us through His Son. His Son is the Word. Jesus, the Word of God among us. And to any, to no one, the Lord says, You are my Son, today I have begotten you. Only to Jesus Christ. And that's our joy and our happiness in this Christmas day. The Gospel today will be Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. And we will see the evangelist, St. John telling us about the Word of God that is with us, that is, has incarnate and is among us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What, what has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of men, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we had seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning of his Gospel, St. John is telling us that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning of creation, God the Father spoke and everything came into being. And the Word of God is Jesus Christ. And God sent His Son, sent His Word to be with us. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen the, His glory, the glory of a Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. That's the feast of the Word of God. Today is the feast of the Word incarnate. 
And on this Lectio Divina, on this day, we are invited to meditate upon the presence of the Word of God among us. We received a gift. It, this gift is to be able to read the Word of God every day. And this gift comes only through Jesus Christ. Christmas is not only a feast to to rejoice with the little child that come that is among us but is the feast of the word of god is the feast of the seat of the word community we rejoice at christmas at the nativity of the lord why because the word became flesh and dwelt among us and that's our joy and our happiness in your lexa divina today you are invited to meditate upon all those readings and see what verse touches your heart and what verse the Lord is asking you to meditate upon today. Is it Isaiah? Is it Psalm 98? Is it Hebrews, the letter to Hebrews? Is it the Gospel of St. John today? The Word of God, Jesus Christ, wants to speak to you directly today. And to end our time together, I would like to leave you with the patristic reading that we read in the office of readings every morning so today is from saint leo the great pope a few verses he said dear beloved today our savior is born let us rejoice sadness should have no place on the birth of life the fear of death has been swallowed up Life brings us joy with the promise of eternal happiness. Jesus comes to us with the promise of eternal happiness. Christian, remember your dignity, and now that you share in God's own nature, do not return by sin to your former base condition. Bear in mind who is your head, and of whose body you are a member. Do not forget that you have been rescued from the power of darkness and brought into the light of God's kingdom. Today is a feast of light. The light of the world comes among us and that's our joy and we can never forget that. So may the Lord bless us, bless all of us in this Christmas and bring us His joy and His peace through His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.